All right, today we're going to learn how to do a stone coat countertop epoxy vertically on the wall. You can use this for showers. You can use this for accent walls and backsplashes. You can use it for a waterfall inside your house. The sky's the limit. We're going to show you all the steps right now on StoneCoatCountertops.com. Let's get started. What we're going to do today is we are going to apply our stone coat countertop epoxy vertical on this wall panel. We're going to show you how to go over a smooth wall panel. You can do this over a textured wall. You can even do it over tile and tile uh, surrounds and showers and things like that. You can do it on backsplash. It's really a versatile product. But what we like to do is, is we like to start with a color behind our epoxy that will accent what we're doing. So in this case, we're going to emulate going over a white wall, but you can pre-prime your wall to whatever accent color you want. Just in case you go thin in some areas, you'll see that color coming through and help, help give your, uh, your project visual interest. But today, we're just going to put a white uh, background on this piece of MDF to show a vertical wall. Let's get started. I'm just using a paint and primer in one over MDF. If I was going to be doing this uh, if I was going to be doing this on tile or a smooth substrate like that, you're going to want to use a bonding primer first. But because this is just raw MDF, all I need to use is paint and primer in one. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, we got our paint and primer all done. It's all dry, it's a nice light gray. That's gonna be our backdrop. Uh, if you have your, your walls already painted and you like that color, you can leave it. If not, change the color and you'll have a nice backdrop for your vertical wall epoxy. Let's get started, I'll show you what we're gonna do here. We have a half gallon of our stone coat countertop epoxy and we have our vertical additive. This makes our normal epoxy be able to be troweled vertical in showers and tub surrounds, on backsplash, on uh, walls and accent walls in your entry or your bedroom. You could do this virtually anywhere you want a vertical uh, surface. You can make it look like marble and stone. You can make it look like Venetian plaster. It's just a, a, a fun product to work with. What a medium. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some really cool colors. I have coffee metallic and I have gold metallic. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our coffee metallic as our base. It goes a long way depending on what you're filling in. If you have a tile surface like a shower and you have deep grout joints, it's not going to go as far because you're going to fill that in. If you're going to use this as, as a thin accent, it'll go a long way. So you're going to play with that. Okay, so to tint this, we're going to save a little bit for our accent color. So I'm just going to take a little bit and just set it aside there. So I got, you know, eight ounces set aside and the rest of it's still here in the bucket. And I'm going to use two of our metallic powders here. Now, the reason we use so much metallic powder as opposed to our counters is because when we add our vertical additive, it will change the uh, look of the metallic. And it, it actually, it looks different than if you don't have that. And so we found that this is the, the, the way to go. So when you're doing a kit like this, you're going to you're going to get uh, two base colors and one accent color for every half gallon that you choose. Let's go ahead and mix that in and watch how vibrant this is here. And that's just a really, really pretty color. Okay, we got the coffee mixed. Now let's take our gold. We're going to add some, some gold in here. Now again, you don't need the whole bag. You're going to want to split your color out evenly. So if you're going to be doing a whole half gallon, you want to split it out evenly when you're doing this and getting it spread out. Go ahead and add that gold.
Okay, we got that gold mixed. We got that coffee mixed. Now comes time for our vertical additive, and so I'm going to put that mask on so I don't breathe this in. You're going to have to mix this a little different. You'll have to go slow at first with a stick because it'll all want to float on top, and that's normal. Now, because this is only half of our kit, I'm only going to use half of the bag. So I'm just going to use half the bag. We've already got it uh, ratioed out for you so that you use the correct amount. Each one of our additive bags will do a half a gallon of epoxy. Okay, so I'm going to take about half this bag, put most of it in there, and then I'll put a little bit in our gold. And the mixture is not critical, it's just going to change how much it sags or doesn't sag. Okay, that looks good. We're going to take our paint stick, we're going to mix this in. It doesn't want to mix it first. It acts really kind of funny, and then it just all of a sudden, they'll start to thicken it up. It becomes a real thick consistency. You run it like creamy peanut butter is what you're looking for. Remember, you're not going to want to leave this in the bucket a long time, just like our countertop epoxy. It, it dries much better and slower. You'll have that working time if you get it out thin on the surface. So that's what we're shooting for here. All right. Now I got it all mixed in with my sticks. I'm going to start with my drill now. Because it's already mixed in with the sticks, I can just use the drill. Okay, I got the coffee mixed up. You can see that mix is really good in there. Now I'm going to do the gold. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use our hawk. This is a drywall hawk. It's a, a nice little tool that we have so that we can apply this vertically on the wall. You can get this uh, at Home Depot or any hardware store in the drywall section. They're actually the most inexpensive there. If you get this in the concrete section, they're a lot more expensive, and it's a similar tool. So get it in, in the uh, drywall section. I like to use a used bucket to hold that while I dish this up on my hawk. So we'll just take this and scoop our material out here. We're going to use that to start to trowel it on the surface. So I have it on my hawk and you can see it, it's still pliable, it still moves, but not like an unthickened epoxy. It's, it's really cool made for this purpose. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hawk right against the substrate there and just start to pull it up. And all we're doing here is we're just getting it out on the surface. So the, the key is to get it out as fast as you can, and then we're going to come back and move it. So once it's on there, then you start troweling it out. So, so what I got here is I just have a normal square trowel. I got this over in the tile section. This is like an $8 trowel. It's a really good trowel for this. It has no teeth on it, and that's what we use here for doing it vertical. Uh, another thing that I wanted to mention is uh, if you've ever done Venetian plaster or decorative wall plaster or anything like that, where you're trying to burnish it and get that glow of, of that natural marble, that's really a lot of work and labor intensive. This will, will give you that shine. It will stay that way. It's super easy to clean. It's easy to care for. It's very durable. It's very UV resistant. It's not going to fade because these powders are metal and mineral powders. It's not paint pigment. So whatever color you decide to go with, it's going to stay that way, which is really cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some more of this on here. All right. Now we're just going to start moving it around here. Just start trawling that out. And again, my, my purpose is just to cover my works 
my work thing, my work piece here. And I don't care at this point what it looks like. Now, if I was going floor to ceiling, that would be just fine. I would just get lower and, and get a ladder to go high. And but for the purposes of this video and showing you how it's done, this is what we decided to do. And, and I'm loving this. This is like a this is like a big wall painting here. This is fun. It trowels out like butter. I mean, it's just super easy to trowel. And then when you when you put the uh, accents on, when we do. Um, you can spray metallics right into this, and when we do that, it, it, it actually adds like a little bit of lubrication to the surface, and, and, and your trowel moves even even more different, and, and it's, uh, it's, it's really fun to work with, and it's actually quite easy. It makes you look like an artist immediately. This is something that you could add to your business. You can try this in your house. You can do this on your walls. You can do it in a bathroom wall. You know, that's what's, it's so waterproof. It's really good for, for bathroom areas. All right. You have a lot of working time. Now that accent color here, that gold that's sitting in that bucket, you have to keep that in mind that that's sitting in your bucket. I shouldn't have that sitting in there too much longer. I'm going to finish this. So only mix what you can work at a time and get your, get your pattern down on what you're going to want. And then uh, mix more when you need more. So don't mix it all at the same time and then try to rush yourself. Give yourself some, some working time. And, and uh, if you're doing an accent wall or a shower, just, just do one wall at a time. And, and, uh, and then as soon as that wall's done, you can mix more and, and meld the two walls together. All right, we're almost got this thing covered. Boy, that looks beautiful. Now, one thing that I like to do when I'm doing a decorative wall, or like if, if you've seen in high-end homes where you have a Venetian plaster or a decorative wall like that, a lot of times they'll just use two colors that aren't too far apart in color. And so that's kind of what we're doing here. I'm gonna put my excess back in my back in my bucket here. Scrape that off. To clean these tools later, when I'm all done, you just use regular acetone and that will clean off the epoxy really well. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take that gold, put some of that out here, and watch this. Okay, so we're gonna take that gold accent color and I'm just gonna start putting it in in some random spots here. And I like to use the butt end of my trowel here. Just start putting it on there. Yep. All right. Okay, let's get a little bit more of that on there. All right, so we got some yucky mess on there right now. Now I'm just gonna start troweling this. I could turn my trowel this way to keep it short or I can go long ways. Just whatever you're trying to do here. So I'm just gonna start bringing this together. And you can see that those two colors mixing just does a really, really cool look. And I like to go long strokes. After you start to get it mixed, I start going long strokes there. You can see how easy that technique is there. Now I'll, I'll just get, get rid of some of these lines just by kind of coming light on this trowel. And the nice thing about this too is it retains that texture. So any of this texture that I'm putting in here, this, this wall will retain it. And so any, any fake lines, you wanna make sure you get those off. And the way that I get those off, like you can see like there's kind of a chop line here. Can you see that on, in the camera, this one here? Okay. So I'll just, I'll go and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll take my trowel like an airplane and I'll take off and let it off the surface and not stop abruptly. So I'll start here and take off. And that's your technique. You could do that here coming in. Boom. and just do long strokes and keep it 
start and stop by lifting and setting. So if you're going to start halfway, start moving, come back. So the more that you work this, the more that it blends in, okay, the more that you'll meld the two colors together. And, and you got to understand, if you don't like these colors, that's okay. You can use any colors that you want. It's really, it's really your preference, but we want to show just kind of some colors that you can do. And I really like that already. If you're doing this in a home, you can offer this to your customers and you can make sample boards and you can show, look at what we can do, look at this, this really neat effect and you see how, how easy that really is just with two metallic colors. Um, but you don't have to stop here. And you know me, I often don't know when to quit and so we're gonna add some more colors. But just remember, you can stop right here and, and, and this is just such an easy look to obtain. You can, you can do this a color with a black background with some ocean blue or some blue earth or you can you can add gold over black or silver you can do a white background and add black to that I mean just depending on what you're going for the colors are, are endless so what we're gonna do now is I like to spray metallics into the wall as well or the backsplash or whatever I'm emulating and you, you got to understand that when you're doing a, a vertical piece it's not the same as doing a counter. You're not going to get the vein effects. You're not going to get some of those effects that we achieve on a, a flat horizontal level plane because this isn't in liquid form where it's going to meld and move. It's, it's stuck vertical, which is really cool, but you get different effects. So if you're trying to put veins and stuff in it, you, you still want to build shower walls flat if that's the look you're going for. But if you're going to go vertical, these are the looks that, that you can get. Okay, here's some Lagoon. And I'm just going to fog a little bit of that on here. Yeah, it does. That's, that's, and now I'm, I'm fogging that on. I'm fogging that on rather than, rather than up close. You can go up close, but boy, that looks cool. Wow, that created a really neat patina. Yeah, it did, especially over that gold. Wow. Okay. Let's add a little bit of white. This is just normal spray paint, Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover. This is what we use. It's very compatible with our material. Okay, so now I'm just going to spray some metallics in there. I'm going to put a little bit of copper, and I want this to mist on. There's some copper. We'll do a little bit of ocean blue in there. Okay, and then we'll do, I don't know, want to do anything else? Spray paint or metallic? All right. And here's some black metallic. Okay, now we're just going to trial this out again, same fashion, but it's going to move a little different because we have that alcohol metallic mix on there you can see all right That's really neat. All right, uh, you know, I'm gonna get in deep trouble. Catherine's behind the camera here and she, she loves it how it is, but I really like this gold spot and I like a little bit more contrast. So we're gonna add a little bit more gold right here. Let's see what happens here. And I like the way that lagoon looked over that too. All right, so I have a little bit more gold, and I'm just going to add some right here. I'm going to spread that out a little bit. I'll bring it down here. 
it's just there we go now let's there we go now we got a splash of it there bring it up a little bit and then trowel it out yep okay now we're going to add a little bit more color with the lagoon And then I'm going to do a darker area down here. I'm going to take some black spray paint and we'll just do a contrasting dark area down here. And those dark areas give it some interest. Do a little bit of dark. There we go. Now we're going to trowel it out. Are you freaking out? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video on how to do stone coat countertops vertically with our wall additive to be able to make everything stick vertical and not run down the wall. This is just a great product. I love the different colors that you can get. I love the metallic powders and how vibrant they are. I know the video doesn't do it justice, but when you get in here and look at this, it's just shimmers and, and the texture really brings it to life. It's, it's such a neat medium to work with. Uh, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up Comment below, tell us what you thought, and visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. And remember, until next time, you got this from Stone Countertops.